Okay, this video is the video where we're going to talk about where the interest formulas come from. And we're going to start with simple interest. And keep in mind, simple interest is interest that is applied just to your principal each time. So however much money you borrow or however much money you deposit, uh, that's what's used to calculate your interest. So let's look at an example. Let's say that our principal is $135 and our interest rate is 4.3 percent okay now with simple interest what we would do for the first year we would take 135 dollars and we'd figure out what 4.3 percent of that is and we would add that on so 4.3 percent of 135 dollars is 5.805 and we got that by multiplying 135 by 0 0.043 basically doing p times r okay and then we add that to the p and we get 140 dollars and about 81 cents we'll have to round that so for the next year we're going to do the same thing we're going to add 4.3 percent of 135 dollars so it's still five dollars and 81 cents approximately and so that gives us a new total of 146 dollars and 61 cents and then we're going to add that amount again. And that gives us our end balance after three years of $152.41 and a half cents. So 42 cents, I guess. Now, what's interesting to see here is that all three years we're adding the same amount because we're always basing it off of 4.3% of 135. So keeping in mind that this is P and this is R, what we're really doing here is we're finding P times R and adding that each time. So let's think of it as our principal, $135, plus P times R over and over again for each year that we want to calculate our balance for. So our $135 to begin with, plus P times R three times. So here's kind of a a generic formula for what we did. We started with our principal, we added P times R three times, and a quicker way of writing that is just to say P times R times three, or in general, T for however long you want. If it's three years, T would be three. If it's another time frame, you would put whatever the number of years that have passed by. And so that is our formula for the end balance for simple interest. Okay, now compound interest, it's kind of the same idea, but now the interest isn't just applied to our principal, it's applied to our total balance. So it's not just the amount of money we started with, it's the amount of money plus any interest that we've gathered over the time frame. So let's do this example with a principal of $600 and an interest rate of 4% for our annual interest. So the first step, we're going to take 4% of 600, which is 24. So we add that to the 600 and we get 624. And then we're going to take 4% again, but it's not going to be 4% of 600. It's going to be 4% of 624. And then the next time we're going to do 4% of our new total and we keep doing that. So this is behaving a little differently. The amount we're adding is changing each time because it's a percentage of your last balance and that balance is constantly changing as you earn more money. So that amount is going to be different each time. But if we look at what we're doing to get each step, we're multiplying by the same thing each time. So we're going to multiply by 1.04 each time. That's basically 100% of our 100% of the amount that we have plus the 4% for the interest gives me my new balance. So simple interest, we added the same thing each time because the interest never changed. It was always an interest based on the principal. With compound interest, we're multiplying by the same thing every time. And if you look at what's going on here, we're starting with our principal and we're multiplying by this number for however many years that have gone by. Well, that's this P times one plus R one plus our interest rate for however many years that have gone by. And so a quicker way of writing that is 1.04 to the third power in this particular example 
but in general, it's going to be 1 plus r to the t power. And you just substitute the principal, the rate for the annual interest, and the number of years that we want to figure the balance for. And that's where the compound interest formula comes from. Hopefully that helps. If you have more questions, let me know.